Hey there Hunters, Hollow Hunter here with another TCG opening for you guys. And it's going to be a bit of a mixed bag today. What I'm going to do is I'm going to show off something I got in the mail. And I'm going to go through some PSA submissions that I'm about to send off to Pokemon Moses. Just to show you for once what I'm going to send. And then later we can finally see the results together. I thought that would be fun for once is to say, hey, this is what we're going to send off. And look, I got the old setup again. Yay, with this new Necrozma mat. A little dirty. Clean that off. Oh, should have done that before the video. And I got Mimikyu back. What's going on, buddy? Nice to have you back. And okay, let's get to this package here. So I got this in the mail today. And it came from Japan. You can always tell from these little labels. It's very Japanese-style labeling. Uh, you can also tell from all the little Japan on it. <laughs> and I'm pretty sure I know what this is. But I wanted to be sure. So, well, you know. I just, instead of saying it, I'm just going to open it up and then let's see what it is, you know. Um, otherwise, I would just straight up tell you. But I think I know what this is. I had a couple things coming from Japan, and one of which should take a little bit longer to get here than this particular package. So, let's see. It did say it was sent on the 15th of September. So, it got here in pretty good time. All right. Yeah, it's exactly what I thought it was. Okay, so I won a competition. Oh, well, hello there. Okay, no, no, okay. Uh -huh. Got excited for no reason. Thought there was something extra in here. There was not. Just get everything out of here. Okay. Awesome. So I won a competition again. Uh, this time I won it through Plaza Japan. And this is coming from Japan. And uh, they had an Instagram competition that if you used a particular hashtag and you tagged them, and then sent an image with that hashtag. So you had to do like two things, I think. If you did that, then you could win uh, one of five prizes. And I was fifth place, and it's still pretty cool. I won this thing right here. Boom. So let's get this closer here. What I won is a Japanese Tapu Bulu GX deck box. This thing is so big, I can't even get in a shot. I actually have to pull, let's see if I pull the camera back a little bit. There we go. Now you can see my setup better. There you go. Nice. I may just keep this sealed, if I'm honest. I mean, it's a promo from Japan. I mean, I could have this in my binder, but it is a pre-constructed deck. It's all taped up and stuff. But we'll take a look at the box here. It's got Tapu Koko and Tapu Bulu. Um, and it's so heavy. And here in the back, it shows you what it has. It comes with our promo Tapu Koko and a Vikavolt and a Tapu Bulu GX. Comes with a play mat, some damage counters, a GX marker, and a coin. Uh, and these are all the cards that you can expect from it. I cannot read Japanese, so I have no idea what those are. From the looks of it, you do get two Tapu Bulu GXs from here, because I see the GX symbol there, and there's a number two next to it. So yeah, I think more or less what we have here is a variation on the Vikabulu deck that we play in English. But then, you know, without Tapu Lele and that sort of stuff. So, I thought this was pretty cool. And since I wanted to keep it sealed, I figured I'd do it in a video like this. So you get some more content out of it. But you get to see this thing. Awesome. Thank you so much, Plaza Japan. Uh, so cool that you guys did a competition like that. If you're ever looking for Japanese product, whether it's Pokemon related or not, Plaza Japan is going to be the place to go. Really good shipping. Really fast shipping as well. I mean, this got here within about a week or two. Uh, yeah, it's great stuff. Good prices, too. A bit under most of your places, so I'd highly suggest it if you haven't done so yet. Go to Plaza Japan, get some cool products. In fact, with the PSA submissions, some of these cards came out of products that I bought from Plaza Japan. So now let's get into what I'm sending off to PSA. I'm sending off about 11 cards. So what I'm going to do is... Oh, I had them in a particular order... But I didn't face up. Oh, well. Then I'll put them down here. And we're just going to take from the stack. And I'll show you close up. So here we go. This is what I'm going to be submitting for PSA. Uh, some of them, I mean, they're all in pretty good, like, thick sleeves with the backs on them. So I'm not going to take them out of the sleeves. I'm just going to show you in the front. And you can see why I'm going to send these off. So the first one here is a Misty's Tears from Gym Challenge, Japanese set. 
I pulled this on the channel actually from a pack of gym. Uh, I say gym challenge. I meant to say gym heroes. I pulled this from gym heroes from some packs that I bought from Pokeball. Sorry, I'm just trying to get my focus correct. There we go. Um, and as you can see, it's in pretty good shape. I mean, this is pack fresh. Uh, it's a banned card in the U.S., so in Japan it's not super valuable, but in America they're pretty rare. So getting this as a PSA 10 can actually really boost the value. I have one other one that I didn't pull myself, and that's a pretty beat up card actually. That one stays in my binder just so I can have it, and this one's going to get graded because it's such good condition. Next up, we have a Coro Coro promo, vending promo here from, oh wow, yeah, Coro Coro Magazine is what it would be. This is the Lilypad Mew. This is actually a Black Star promo in English, and of course we know it from, I believe it's in Evolutions, because in Japan it's part of CP6 as well, but this is an older card, and being from Coro Coro Magazine... Uh, it is glossy. I don't know if that shows up too well. Probably not because it's in the sleeve and it's in the top loader, but this has a glossy finish on it. So it's a little differently textured than your normal card. And it's also in really good shape. I got this in a random lot of cards. I don't really see any damage here on it. Sorry if I keep glaring you out there. Um, yeah, so I'm going to send that off. Here we have a Rockets Mewtwo from Gym Challenge. Japanese one here. Uh, this one is in a perfect fit or a penny, uh, a penny sleeve from the looks of it. I believe this one was one that was kind of slipped in a purchase that I bought from Pokemon Moses. I thought it was in such good shape. I just wanted to send it back his way. And, yeah, I just want to get it graded. I think this might get a 9, if I'm honest. You know, I don't see it getting better than a 9. Not really. So, uh, you know, there are little... Seems to be a little bit of damage on the top, but not too much. And that hollow pattern is to die for. And hey, guess what? We have another one. Japanese Rockets Mewtwo. This one was in a random lot that I purchased. Probably in worse shape than the other one. Not too sure. I expect between an 8 and a 9. From that same lot, I also got a Rockets Moltres from Gym Challenge. You may recognize this one because I used it as a thumbnail for that particular bulk lot. It looks in pretty immaculate shape, so I'm expecting a 9 on this one. I'm being very uh, skeptical. I don't want to be too optimistic. Also in that random lot uh, was this Slow King Hollow from Heart Gold Soul Silver, and it's a very beautiful looking card. And the Huntress is really into Slowking. And it's a first edition card. It's in pretty good shape. I expect about an 8 for this one. 8 or 9. Leaning more towards 8. I think the back might have had a little bit of scuffing on it. But she was so happy with it. She said, please, could we get this graded? So that she has her first PSA graded card. So I said, sure, of course. Now, the only English card that's going to be submitted this time, I have a few others to submit, is this one right here. Shout out to a bit oddish, specifically Jesse. It's the Torterra Level X. I pulled this from that custom booster box that Pokemon Moses sent me from Diamond and Pearl. And yeah, it's in great shape, packed fresh. Looking forward to getting this guy graded. Oh yes. Also, freshly out of a pack, Charizard GX. Japanese. Haven't got one in English yet, but you know, this is a Japanese card. It's in good shape. I'm hoping that it will retain or gain in value. And I really like this artwork. Out of the GXs for Charizard, I, I still kind of like the regular art more than I like the other arts. So yeah, getting that one graded. And the next few are the creme de la creme from this set. We have the Shining Mew from Shining Legends. Can't wait to pull this in English as well, or at the very least buy it. So yeah, perfect condition. I am super upset about the English Shining cards. I don't know if they're going to do it for the Shining ones or not, but as you can see in the bottom here, this right here, that is not from one of those uh, Ultra Pro sleeves. That's actually part of the set. So the set symbol pops up here to say that it's Shining. You'll see it again in the next card as well. And uh, yeah, they took it away from the Mewtwo Secret Rare, which they do have in the Japanese one. I thought that was really weird. So I hope they didn't, didn't take it away from all the Shining cards, because I think it's a really nice touch. Yeah, perfect condition in my opinion, so I'm expecting a 10 on this one. Also expecting a 10 on this boy, 
the secret rare Mewtwo that I pulled from the Shining Legend set. As you can see, there's that symbol again. And they took it out of the English one. Really upset about that because I think it's one of the nicest touches of the card. So that it's actually a Shining Mewtwo. So I'm hoping they didn't screw up the pattern as well. It would be weird if this ends up being a Shining in Japanese, but not in English. It's also number 82 out of number 70 out of out of 72 cards in the Japanese set, whereas it's number 22 out of 72 in English. So it's just part of the set. So I think it's just like an alternate art. So I'm hoping that they didn't do it differently. And if they did, actually, maybe it's nicer for me because then I have it now, Secret Rare, in Japanese. And last but certainly not least, we have Jaboy, Full Art Guzma, Japanese. Since, you know, I don't know anybody's going to be playing this anytime soon. Figured I'd get this one graded. See, that's what I mean by the Ultra Pro little symbols there. Uh, old uh, sleeves there. Also in really good shape. Pack fresh from my... Oh, what was it called in Japanese, actually? Not, it wasn't Darkness Consuming Light. Oh, Have You Seen the Battle Rainbow? Yeah, I think that's what... The, have You Seen the Fighting Rainbow? That was it. I think that's what this one came out of. So, yeah. Those are the cards that I will be sending off to PSA. I'm about to make the envelope now and then send them off to Moses. And uh, we're going to have a good time. So, again, I want to thank Plaza Japan for the incredibly awesome Tapu Bulu GX deck. Super cool that I won that competition. And congratulations to all the other winners. They won some really cool stuff from boxes of Shining Legends to boxes of SN4. Uh, really, really cool stuff. And, yeah, thank you guys for watching as ever. If you like this, please give it a like, subscribe for more, hit that notification bell to make sure that you hear when I upload a new video, and be on the lookout for new videos. And until next time, guys, I will see you all on the hunt. Goodbye. Back, back, back from the dead.